Hey everybody, I'm your host, Hannah Gordon, and you're watching The Fit Show. We are off to a brand new season, everybody. The Fit Show is going to give you a brief recap of the events happening this week in fitness. In case you haven't seen yet, we just revamped our site with a fresh new format to bring you the latest and greatest of what's happening in fitness. And what better way to start than with the largest worldwide fitness conference, the IDEA Health and Fitness Association's World Fitness Expo. So let's go around fitness. The IDEA Health and Fitness Association hosts a yearly national conference covering the hottest trends in fitness and is mainly targeted to teaching trainers the hottest new methods. The main goal of IDEA is to inspire the world of fitness through education. Here are some of the hottest courses being taught this year. Cranking, Johnny G, inventor of the world famous spin bikes has created a new monster. The crank cycle, this upright hand crank is designed to work the upper body with a bike like hand pedal system. Johnny now has 30 clubs and 75 trainers nationwide certified to instruct on this awesome new machine. Kettlebells, Old concept, new flavor. The kettlebell was created pre-1704 in Russia and only recently brought to the U.S. by Pavel Tatsaloni. Though of basic design, these cast iron weights deliver extreme all-around fitness. Stroller strides. New mothers, beware, fitness is for you too. This interesting class concept is taking the nation one stroller at a time. The classes bring together groups of mothers with their children for a walk in the park and resistant bands to tone you back to your prenatal condition. Gyrokinesis. Pilates was all the rave last year, but this year is shaping up to be even bigger. With the advent of the gyrotonic expansion system, Julio Horvath combined yoga, swimming, and tai chi to create a machine and exercise method called gyrokinesis. These classes and many more will be hitting gyms near you very soon, if they are not already available. Check out thefitshow.tv for more in-depth information about these new and exciting classes. This week in Fit Tech, we have the first ever virtual worldwide race using your iPod put on by Nike. The Nike Plus Human Race is set to take place on August 31st in over 25 cities across the world and on your iPod. The most amazing thing about this race is the sheer number of participants expected and the amount of technology needed to track the race stats of the probable 1 million racers. Nike will have stations at the end of every race where users can plug in their iPod and upload their personal stats to be compared with others at the finish line of each major city. You can sign up to race at nikeplus.com or visit our website for the official link. Woo, all that racing has made me thirsty. Speaking of thirsty, for our nutrition news, Starbucks launched a new line of healthy shakes last week called the Vivano. These delicious shakes each feature a banana and boast a minimum 16 grams of protein. The drinks have a whey and fiber complex mixed in for additional nutrients. This makes Starbucks the most recent chain to start introducing health conscious items to their menus. As of the 15th, the new smoothies are available at all Starbucks nationwide. And for our training segment, I would like to introduce you guys to the TRX suspension training system. It was created in late 2005 by a Navy SEAL looking for a fully functional whole body training system that can be used nearly anywhere. The not so secret secret to suspension training is the utilization of one's own body weight and gravity to create resistance that allows multi-plane movement, setting it apart from any other piece of gym equipment. In fact, this single device can replace a slew of other machines. Additionally, Fitness Anywhere has created several DVDs to help you train for the sport of your choice. Keep it plugged at thefitshow.tv. I'm Hannah Gordon, and we'll see you next time.